Hello, this is Isha Mendy from ICC. Joining us today is uh, Mr. Per Sexgard, the founder of the Business for Peace Foundation. Um, hello. Um, I'd like to start with the first question. Um, in your opinion, what are the fundamental attributes or leadership skills that a business leader should have? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's a great pleasure. Uh, today we are launching the sixth annual nomination process for the Oslo Business for Peace Award, where we search the globe for the foremost business-worthy leaders. It's a global process through the collaboration with the International Chamber of Commerce and the United Nations, leading up to a ceremony in the City Hall of Oslo, the venue of the Nobel Peace Prize, and a selection of winners uh, who are named the, no the honorees, selected by um, Nobel Prize winners in economics and in peace. Coming back to your question on leadership, there are numerous books written on leadership. The key point with the foundation is to broaden the mindset uh, and accelerate the shift in mindset to accommodate the new realities and the new rules of business that we see, driven by technology, etc., etc. That mindset we call to be business worthy, which is to apply your business energy ethically and responsibly with the aim of creating economic values that also create values for society. That is, I think, leadership. Okay. Is there a particular region in which you see greater advances in business-worthy business behaviors and potential honorees? Uh, not any specific region. I think that this is a global development that uh, is um, reflected in the, in the award, the new realities, the new rules of business in our century that I just talked about. I think that there are as many approaches to being business worthy as there is enlightened business leaders. Each finds his or her own way, own solution dictated by the place, available resources, etc. I don't think that there are maybe more intense enthusiasm about the words in countries and situations where there's less transparency and more issues with corruption, etc. I think also it's fair to say that female leadership stand out in this context as well. Okay. So apart from recognition, is there anything else that the award honorees gain or benefit from uh, in receiving this award? Recognition is obviously very important because this is not recognition by your supplier. This is recognition by the foremost representatives of the international society. And the recognition is not only because you're recognized for what you've done, but it's also to give you a position as a role model, an exemplar for others to follow. So the role model and the inspiration therein is key. Okay. Yes. Um, have you noticed global trends that inspire business owners to run a more ethically aware business? Absolutely. I think what we have experienced over the last 10, 15, 20 years is an explosion in technology, information technology that has democratized information, which basically means that you can't hide any places anymore. Transparency is a key word. What is though quite important at the same time is that more than transparency, it also moves the power balance between the seller and the buyer, which as I alluded to just now, changes the rule of business and means that you have to look differently to how you create values in the future. Yes, that's very much so. Um, why is corporate social responsibility so important in terms of global peace? Whether you call it corporate social responsibility, triple bottom line, sustainability, it all boils down to a new kind of mindset. 
And I think that the key point for business in this context is maybe two points. One, now between 70 and 90 percent of all jobs globally are in business. These jobs have over the last 15, 20 years been connected in a way never before in history. That indicates a huge power that can be put to force uh, if mindset is developed. Secondly, business has in its core, in its bedrock, a point which I think has been under our nose. We know that in society, if you play tennis, you can only win if the other one loses. If you want to be a president of a country, you can only win if the other one loses. That's not the case in business. The case in business is win-win. Win-win is the core of value creation. Win-win is a peace process. Think about the logic. For me to win, you have to win as well. That is some of the bedrock of business and why business in its core is an instrument and can be an instrument of peace. Which brings us to the last question. How do you see the Business for Peace Foundation developing in the future? We have a strong vision. We want the, we, let's put it like this, uh, one of uh, Europe's media uh, businesses uh, said the following, this is the de facto Nobel Prize for business. But we would like this to be seen as the highest recognition a business leader can get or achieve globally. We would like business being business worthy to be a phrase of the mindset for creating values in our century.